everyone welcome back to planet zoo i hope you're doing well and i hope you're ready for another episode of building a giant building uh for some reason our frogs and insects are still really really popular oh it's dark in here so i tried importing some pictures to put on these uh, walls but i think the main issue as you can tell if i want to do this with butterflies is that they're always going to be really, really huge. Like, no one is going to believe that, that you know, we have butterflies of, that are bigger than humans. So, oopsie. <laughs> we might want to do this in a different way. So I'm going to remove these screens for now. Um, maybe. Even though I really like the idea, but, oh my goodness, it's obviously not working. So, no, 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 no. <laughs> please don't do that. <laughs> Game, please don't do that. Uh, go away, sorry. So yeah, we're gonna have to find a different way to do that. Maybe with like smaller screens or what I'm probably gonna do. It's more likely that I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you that in a second once I remove my glass panels. There we go. I'm gonna make the room smaller, first of all. And then we're gonna use smaller screens on the sides, um, which should work better. By smaller, I just mean I'm gonna take the floor. That whole floor and raise it to what would roughly uh, be one floor right that way we don't have to deal with as much space in there <laughs> like, eh. yeah see now it's like a normal a normal hide room which also means that decorating it is gonna be a bit easier <laughs> all the people glitching in the ground still um and yeah, I'm just gonna do smaller screens here, so let's see if that works. Because I think that might look better. Like... Oopsie. <laughs> Why did I do the flooring first? Why am I so stupid? Planet Zoo, can you please let me down there? No, 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 okay. See, the game just hates me. <laughs> it genuinely just doesn't want me to do anything. Um, I think about here, right? Game, can I... You can let me through there. No, you're not. Okay. Okay. Okay, I got you. If, if you don't want me to do this, you're not gonna... I'm gonna, you know, game. Okay, I'm stronger than you. Is this symmetrical? Mm, I suppose it is. Let's see if it looks if I put butterflies on. Yeah, that might work. That might work. Yeah, that looks like a good work. So I'm just gonna make it look like these are um, the the butterflies here. These are all pictures of monarchs, obviously, because I just found pictures of monarchs <laughs> uh, when I looked at pictures of butterflies. <laughs> They're still a tad big in comparison to the people. Red eye tree frog looks cold, really. It's cold. Oh, right. Uh, maybe we should at least fix that so that they don't freeze their thumbs up okay wait how much did i do here um 28 and 83 i would love it if the game would just adjust up once you had it on the first one you know uh, 20 and 83 good yeah um so i am going to do something similar on the other side with a few different butterflies as soon as i have decently like decent pictures that will hopefully work and we're just gonna treat these as like little um insect habitats and yeah we're gonna have a roof up top so don't worry if it looks a little empty right now we're gonna fix that and i need lights in here um because the place looks very very boring all the lights I wanted to say bland. I've been watching too much Gordon Ramsay lately, but the place just doesn't look very, very um, inviting. And I was thinking, since it's a butterfly, it you know, um, why not put up some butterfly lights in oranges? We are doing monarchs. So wait, no, no, no. The outline is black, and then this would be orange, a yellowish orange. Yeah, that looks okay. 
like this. So like we'd have the, the monarch butterfly wall here. I just have to make sure that the lights are always on, but that won't be an issue. Just a second. Is it always on? Yes, are you even glowing? Why are they not glowing? You're supposed to be lights. Glow at them. <laughs> Apparently the lights don't like me today. But, uh, you know, it's a nice decoration, I think. Yeah. And then um, we're going to put some stuff around these. To make it look like it's actually, you know, uh, a habitat or exhibit thing and not just... These people are stuck, aren't they? Come on, stop sticking around. <laughs> yeah, you too. Why is the vet stuck? Are you the vet? Yeah, you're my vet. Why are you... <laughs> Why are you stuck here? So basically, all we want to do is put a... Of course, the glass wall doesn't fit completely. <laughs> I feel like if we put a glass wall over this, like, it's almost going to be obscuring too much. Is that just me? But I feel like that would be too much of a... Um... Like, the glass wall would be too strong. Because, you know, we could, technically speaking, just have see-through glass on there, right? Let's, let's just pretend that we have see-through glass and put something around it. <laughs> that would be too easy if that actually worked, right? Um, <laughs> Maybe these are at the bottom. I do like using these. Um... Excuse the weird glitching around here. Everything is fine. No weird glitching whatsoever. No. You were just imagining that. And then we could do these up top, but that would look a little... I think that's a little overkill. Um. How about that, actually? I mean, I know that it probably looks really, really weird right now, but I think it gives it the idea of, like... Oh, look, it's like in the wall. If you if you if you get what I'm going for. I'm going to try doing that, I suppose. Can you can you please stick there? No, 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 don't do that. There we go. And then all I need to do is find a way to limit it up top. Because obviously I can't use these on top, right? Like they don't do that. The regular limestone? Limestone based trim? Yeah, no, that works. Okay. That's not terrible. I thought this would be worse, but it works somehow. Mostly. Also, the screens are like on like lit, right? So it looks pretty okay. Why are you all so dark? Can I can I can I get light in here? Ah, let me first decorate this place too. But why are they so dark? Damn. Beep. Please put light in here. I think I'll just have to manually add more lights. Um, to make it like actually look like there's lights because... Oh, you're pretty much okay. Up to temperature a bit. 24 enough? Yeah. So that no one can complain about our poor animals being too cold. Um, we're gonna need more lights. Obviously, because we don't have indoor window. Right, I could just take the windows and put them indoors because uh, windows, it's not going to be a lot, but windows, let me just put that up, please. Windows do count as lights. So if I do this correctly, I think I'm doing it correctly right now, there wouldn't be any windows over here, obviously, but there would be windows here and here and here, here and here. Come on. Because obviously the window wouldn't just stop, right? But I think the windows are only going to glow at night, right? Yeah, okay. The windows are only illuminated at night. That's not going to help us. <laughs> uh, welcome to... I still can't figure out how to play this game, apparently. But the, yeah, the butterfly screens... I like this part of the habitat so far. 
And can you- why are these people stuck here again? Um, so we're gonna do something similar over here on the other wall with uh, other insects. I might as well just set that up while I'm here. Uh, here, 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 and then I want to use... Let me just go and grab those from over here because those will look the same from both sides. Uh, nope. Oh, wee! <laughs> wee! There we go. That way we're going to have these on both sides and three on each side. And we're just going to do other butterflies over here. Um, I think that would probably work best. And then we have to build something around these guys, which I also want to illuminate heavily because this is an indoor habitat exhibit thing so it needs a lot of illumination <laughs> ah, sorry i was just um reminded of that one time i watched the minions movie because for some reason i was in the movie with a lot of kids and you know how it is when there's kids in the movie yeah you watch the minions because of course you do and uh the intro of the movie it's like illumination <laughs> that was the worst minion accent i have ever done but I never really do minion accents. And I was just reminded of that. Please excuse me, I'm not usually this stupid. Um, and then I used a limestone base trim up top. One. Two. I guess for the time being I'm gonna put other butterfly textures in here. But um, we're gonna put different ones in here. Ones I actually have pictures of other butterflies just you know so that it looks the way it's supposed to look soon and it's gonna look this way eventually when i stop being incompetent and actually find good pictures <laughs> um right where's the butterfly lights uh, they're not classic of course they won't show up um so i'm probably gonna have like actually blue butterflies here i'm gonna try to have blue butterflies here so i'm doing some blue butterfly lights no can you can you please go on top of this thing Damn. Oh, just a few butterfly lights. I might be using too many, but I don't really care at this point. Because, you know, it just needs to look good, right? There we go. So we have our two insect walls. I don't have frog-shaped lights, sadly. If, if I had them, I would use them, but they don't exist. Um... I was thinking about using light strings, but I think that just looks unprofessional, really. Um, and obviously we still have to decorate these two, so... None of these wall lights really look like they would fit in here really, really well. Like, the only classical wall light we have is this, which just looks boring as heck. I'm sorry, but they generally look boring. How is this even a lamp? How are you a lamp? And how are you a wall lamp? You're not a wall lamp? That no. <laughs> so yeah, we don't have the best um light options. So I'm gonna have to figure out something there. Cause yeah, I mean this would work, right? Like very, very basic floor lights, I suppose. Um that's sort of boring, isn't it? And like what I was thinking is we could do these and like lower them into the ground. Right, and just put like like cubes around the habitats. Because I think that might look quite cool. Because then you'd have like illumination around the habitats. I'm gonna do that for now. Why are you guys stuck? Stop stop being stuck. There's there's no reason for you to be stuck here. This is a well built place. Stop moving. St start moving. Stop being stuck. Yes, go on. I know you want to. <laughs> what are you running into? <laughs> Uh, sometimes the, um, NPCs in this game are very, very special. But yeah, obviously, this isn't gonna fit perfectly, I'm sorry. But, uh, I don't think I can move this as one piece, so maybe I can, we'll see. It's probably snapped to something else that I already built, and now there's like a hundred pieces that I would have to move, so I'm not gonna do it. 
Also, it might actually be the case that this is illuminated enough, and I just think that it's not illuminated enough because, um, yeah, it snapped along with the floor, I think. Did you snap into the floor? Um, because I'm currently, you know, no, and the windows are open and I'm sitting right in front of the window, so that might be why I think that everything is dark, because the sunlight is killing my eyeballs. Not ideal for recording, I know, <laughs> but uh, yeah. So here is our slightly wonky surrounding for our habitat. <laughs> we. On this side it should work out though, yeah. Because that's the side I actually lined it up with. And then we're just gonna finish that off. Let's be honest, no one cares, it's a couple of insects and frogs. I'm always fascinated by zoos that actually put a lot of um, like work into their insect or fish areas or whatever, because you all know that people aren't gonna spend as much time there as they will next to the lions. Wow. Okay. How does that look? Yeah, I think that might work. I think that's not a terrible idea. Because it illuminates the place, at least at night time. I guess during the daytime it just looks weird. Wait, why do the butterflies not glow during daytime? Or do they? And they just... I don't know. At this point I really don't know. Mm, anyways, I'm gonna do the same lights around this building. Building. Around this thing, I suppose. <laughs> it's not really a building, it's just um, a, a thing. And let's see if I can line this one up a bit better. Just for my own sake. Oh, there we go. It's a little weird that you can't just use these like building pieces and... Um, you know, snap them next to each other, like you would with fencing, for example, or with just walls. You don't have a grid. So... I have to do this manually. Who knows? It's not symmetrical. No! <laughs> it's already not symmetrical. Great. I love it. Not. To be fair, that's my own fault, so um, I guess I could just... There! You won't even notice, will you? <laughs> I don't think it's really noticeable. I should have done that over on the other side as well. Oh well, oh well. Worst case, I can just rework it. But yeah, that's um today's project. <laughs> Decorating this interior area to make it look like it's somewhat acceptable. And I'm gonna put some information signs up since that's also sort of what this place is for. Yes, go on, run. I'm not sure why you're running, but run. <laughs> Are you waving at the walls? Were you looking at the butterflies? I mean, okay. I guess. <laughs> Sometimes the people here are weird. You know, they look kind of weird, but still weird. But um, I think it's cool that they actually like look at the information boards, like there's anything interesting on there, instead of just ignoring their existence. They won't acknowledge that it's animals, but they acknowledge that it's there. Also, it says you can implement videos. I haven't figured out how, because all the formats it tells me to use are picture formats, not video formats. But um, I'll, I'll look into that again and see if I can work it out. Because for the aquarium, I would really like to have animated fish rather than still lives. But we'll see. We'll see. People, can you stop glitching around? I'm trying to build here. Really? I can't be that- Hello? What are you doing? <laughs> there we go. They're not permanently stuck, they're just glitchy as hell. <laughs> I mean, I suppose there's just a lot of things surrounding them, right? So they're just a little freaked out by that? There we go. So, but it's not a lot, obviously. Um, and the next step would be to um, decorate everything here. And I think one of the things I want to do definitely are planters. Because anything else is just gonna, like, if there's no planters in here, it's just gonna look weird as hell. Like, really, really weird. Um, can I have this in, like, white? 
white. Why is none of these whites white over oh, down here? I wonder if how that would look. Like put some plants in front of there because technically speaking it should look okay. I mean they're all animal things, right? Animals that need plants. Let's, let's try that. Because I do want to have more plants in here obviously and I'm gonna do that with plant boxes as well but I was just thinking what about these? Come on snap. Sometimes the target snapping works really, really well, and sometimes it just does not work. So we get some cute little plants that aren't too tall. I guess just a casual flower bed would work if it weren't too long. And this one is too short. Game. Well, this is literally the item you designed for this. No, it doesn't fit. There, these will work. I think it looks. It looks okay. I think. Right, because you have flowers, which should be here because these are insects that live off of flowers. Okay, they're a bit too high. I need it to look like somewhat realistic at least. <laughs> I'm trying. There's going to be other insects over here, like other butterflies, but I'm just going to... Do the same flowers for all of them for now right and then we put the other flower pots like maybe these here i do want to use these but they're just so massive but they would work yeah they would work okay in between the in between the thingies the thingies the screens the fake uh, butterfly habitats And then, I guess I could also use these, sort of. Because, like, I don't want to exclusively have... I don't know how to best do this. I'm terrible at planting. No, I'm not terrible at planting. I'm just terrible at figuring out where I want my plants to be. Because I, I want them everywhere, but I obviously can't have them everywhere. Um, How about some fairy flowers? Yeah, they're flat, they're pretty basic, they'll work. Maybe I'll just put a lot of uh, flowers on the walls. And I suppose on the sides I could do... No, because people can run over it, so that's why I don't want to use the mulch patches. I still don't know how to pronounce that word, by the way, please don't kill me. Um, <laughs> but I don't want to use too many of those. Um, right, so how about some... Labradors? No, those are whites. I don't want white. Can we just can we just use twin flowers? Are you guys gonna kill me if I use twin flowers? <laughs> Let's just put in some twin flowers. No, please, thank you. There we go. I just want the place to look a little more cheerful, and obviously the fact that we have grey walls and grey flooring and pretty dark habitats, uh, you know, it, it it doesn't exactly help with the with the vibes of the place. And I want it to be more more of a happy place and less of a scary weird place. And I know I could just use fake plants, but that looks a bit weird. So I was thinking ivy, right? Ivy on the walls. Um, but more than ivy, I was thinking, where are they? Where are my pink plants? Yep, mysterious. So I'm gonna go. How do you work like this? Okay. No, 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 no. I'm gonna go and have some wisteria along the walls, which I know, very, very colourful. <laughs> Technically speaking, probably too colourful <laughs> for this place, but I don't really care. Because, uh, I mean, I still have to figure out where I want the exact roof part of this to be, like where I want the building to, technically speaking, end, right? But I think for now, I can just add a few strands of wisteria. Until there's too many of them. <laughs> to, to give the place some green feelings. Because it's a greenhouse, technically speaking. You know, like it's a it's a building with a lot of plants and a lot of insects. And it should have green in it. It shouldn't be just weird stuff. There. 
probably won't see a lot of that one actually because it's pretty um high up and i do have to like put a roof on this i'm not gonna leave it like no 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 can, can you please <laughs> why are you rotating like that sometimes sometimes i think the plants don't really know that they are plants themselves and then they just do weird stuff <laughs> yeah sometimes the game just confuses itself i think but the basic idea is to make this look a little more like a planned area and a little less like the chaos that it actually is. Because I want it to look green and inviting and not terrible. I could probably hide some um, lights in the wisteria as well. If I'm motivated enough to do that. Which I think I might just be because, you know, might as well make this look good. It's already looking weird. <laughs> Can at least try to make it look a bit better. With some colorful things. Wee, wee. And um, how about this one here and then that one. There we go. Yeah, now now it actually really looks like if you go inside, you know, it looks like the place is um somewhat cared for. The two plant pots here just look so sad. <laughs> Mm. But that's okay, I'm gonna figure something out to make this look a little less depressing. Because <laughs> they do look just really, really depressing. Um, I guess there's just two pots here with like small plants and <laughs> Oopsie. Gonna have to figure out how I'm gonna make that look a little more, you know, happy. A little less sad. But for now, this is okay. Um... Yeah. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. Uh we gotta fix that. This way you should always take a look at everything from the outside. Because you don't want any of the flower scraps peeking in or out. No, I want the flowers, not the kids. <laughs> Game. Why are you so evil to me? Why do you hate me so much? And I think this one also went through the wall a bit. Yeah, okay, and then there's one over here. This one? The second one right behind that. Mm, that one, maybe. There we go. Oh, is it no? Yeah, that will work. Okay, just making sure that it doesn't look like the wisterias are growing outside. Oh, while glitching through the walls, because they will do that. If you're not careful. It will definitely just look like they're glitching through the walls, which I don't want because, yeah, you know me. I want this to look somewhat acceptable from the outside as well. Like, they, the plants can't quite be floating because that would be a bit weird, obviously. But... Okay, this one is glitching out. Just want to make sure that that doesn't happen. Bit over here might be this one. I'm never quite sure because, yeah, can't really click it from the outside if it's only these small bitsies. So I just have to sort of guess what plant it is and play around until it's gone. And then there's one over here. Is it gone now? Yeah, okay, there we go. So next step would be to give this thing a roof and obviously add some more lights. Because it still looks depressing as hell. But there's no good light. <laughs> I'm sorry, there's genuinely nothing to make this room look good. <laughs> like, no, just nothing. No, no decoration, no statues. I mean, <laughs> hey, some of the statues maybe, but they, they don't fit. There's no statues of the animals I have in here. <laughs> like, the, the sculptures are cute, don't get me wrong, they just won't work. Yeah, there's reward statues, but those also don't fit. Um, there's no reason to have fountains in here. Um, let me just see if I have any decent decoration in the classic items, but I doubt it. Yeah, there's no reason to put bikes in here. Um, nothing here really screams indoor decoration for a sad, sad room. <laughs> okay, yeah, I think I'm gonna top this off with a roof for now. Like a roof, but you know, gonna raise the floor up. 
Wait, goddammit, I can't do this the way I wanted to do it now because... No, I'm gonna have to actually manually do it. Okay, so I'm gonna raise it above here, right? That should work. Yeah, okay, and then we're gonna... No! <laughs> it's okay, it's okay, we can do this. We just need to play as limestone wall floor. Limestone wall floors? Limestone wall floors! Is it literally called limestone wall floor? Okay. Okay, sure. We just need to place a couple of limestone wall floors. It's <laughs> a good name. And then I suppose we should put roof lights on, like lights on top of the, the roof, because that should probably help to make it look a little less dead. Whee! <laughs> there we go. Um, no. Evil lights. There we go. So now, technically speaking, we have one small room here. That is our insect room. Yeah, it's not that bad. It could be worse, I think. I mean, the people are still stuck in the ground, but it looks it looks okay. I think not my best build, but it's okay. <laughs> I'm gonna um, figure out some more stuff here. I'm gonna put up some education boards. So that people can at least pretend like they know something about the animals. Um, here. These are giant Malaysian leaf insect. And over here we have frogs. A dog. The right texture. Ah, that's cool. So you can do that too. That's actually nice. Um, and I suppose we could put stuff here, but... I mean, why would we... You know, and I would love to put benches in here. I don't know if I can. Oh no, I can. Because that's actually pretty cool. I think. Ugh. Roof, go away. I I wish you could just press the down button and it would actually take you down, but it doesn't work that way. Sadly. There we go. It feels like you're trying to go like really really small. Like, you're just trying to make yourself really, really small to be able to get in here. Um, obviously the benches are glitching out a bit. Because, as you can probably tell... The, the flooring isn't... Like, the, these... The benches, for those of you who don't know, follow the lines of the paths. But that's okay in this case, because it works out that way. Where, where are my bins? Where are my classical bins? Bins? Here, I mean, they're still ugly, but... Put some in here. Whee! Now the bins you can place wherever. Uh, they don't need to snap target like the um, benches, but the benches do like to snap to the target. And I would put umbrellas in here, but we're indoors. <laughs> so that would probably only make everything look worse. Um, yeah. Next, lights. Um, I think... Is... We don't have any decent lights for this place. Unless we use like these here. But lamp posts don't feel particularly indoor lighty to me. And I want um, hanging lights, I think. I mean, they're cute, but they don't fit. Do we have any decent hanging lights I could use? Just like literally these boring lamps here. I suppose that will work. Maybe. Could be prettier, but let's just see how that works. If I turn these on permanently, does that actually change anything? Because if it just looks ridiculous and there's no actual benefit to it, then why would I do it? Yeah, this is how I'm going to place my lights now. Just <laughs> without looking at them. <laughs> I don't need to see my lights. That's a, that's a bonus <laughs> that I do not need. Yeah, I think there's no way to get this room lit up. I mean, if it's dark, right? Like, let's just go to darkness. If it's darkness, the, the lamps do somehow do that. Not really. I mean, they try. The lamps try, but... It looks okay. I think it actually looks better at night, <laughs> if I may say so. Yeah, it looks a lot better at night. Let me just take a screenshot for the thumbnail, because I do need one. And this just looks ugly during the day, but a screenshot at night works. <laughs> Anyways, um, that's going to be today's video. And it's a little longer than normal, but that's okay. And in the next video, we're going to decorate the front of this building, I guess. What are- why is the roof sticking out? No. 
Come on. Oof. <laughs> Just gonna fix that real quick, otherwise I'm gonna hate myself. There we go. That should work, hopefully. No. <sighs> Game. Why are you so why do you hate me so much? <laughs> Okay, just just a millimeter, just just a millimeter. It's no one more millimeter. Come on, you can do it. And please tell me it works on the other side as well. I think it's gonna peek out on one of the sides, no matter what we do. All right, yeah, it's gonna peek out no matter what we do because. See, like, even if I put it like this, it still peeks out here. Okay, well, whatever. We're gonna, we're gonna fix that. We're gonna work that out. <laughs> Anyways, uh, that's gonna be it for today's episode. As always, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope I'll see you again soon. Bye!